Painting allows me to express my emotions. I paint things that are very symbolic to me. I've always had a connection with geishas and Japanese culture, so I did a painting. It's actually inspired from the movie Memoirs of a Geisha. The character, who is Sayuri, perseveres against adversity through many things in her life, and I find that is very strong and very empowering. In 2019, I actually had a very horrible breakdown. I wasn't able to study. I was, it wasn't able to drive because of my medications. But all of a sudden, it's just like my world crashed down. My castle crumbled and I don't see any light. I don't see any hope. In 2020, I was able to get linked up with support services. They offered social supports, um, emotional support, psychological support, and they were able to offer me someone I could talk to during tough times and someone I could call. When you're living with mental health challenges, it can be difficult to access services. It can be difficult to advocate for yourself to have your needs met. So a lot of what we do is help bridge some of those gaps. When you're spending time with someone who makes you feel seen and heard, that allows you to feel comfortable and to open up a bit more with people. So they actually gave me the hope that I needed for being able to walk on my path of recovery and walk with confidence. The community managed mental health sector brings a whole range of skill sets to the workforce and in ultimately supporting consumers with mental health issues. They include delivering recovery oriented and trauma informed services, but also supporting them holistically to address homelessness, drug and alcohol, loneliness and a whole range of issues. And the system needs to be able to support everyone on that continuum. We meet people where they're at and it's very much focused on them as the individual, their needs, what their goals are, what they're interested in. We work with uh, other services and the people that are in the lives of the individuals we support in order to see them move towards recovery and independence and inclusion back into community. The Mental Health Coordinating Council is a peak organisation that works with community managed organisations or not-for-profit or for-purpose organisations and it represents all those organisations. What our call to action is, is to support and provide more community managed organisation services so that people can get services in the community and not have to end up in ED or at the crisis end of the spectrum before they get the support they need. MHCC's role within the sector is uh, invaluable. The advocacy and the training has been really instrumental in supporting organisations like ours do the work that we do. One of the issues that we have is that there's more people needing the support than the services we have and we would like to see more services that we know work and we know have really great outcomes for people. I think there's opportunities for us to make significant changes, for us to continuously improve the services that are offered for consumers and I think that we can do that really well within the community managed mental health service sector. Now I'm studying a diploma of community services and I would love to specialise in mental health. When I see Cindy working through this diploma, I'm often lost for words. I am quite in awe of how much she's doing and how hard she's working to sort of fulfil her dreams. I love giving back to the community because I would want to be that woman that I wish I had when I was younger.